All right, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be taking a look at Micro Wars again. Micro Wars has recently entered early access, so it is now available to purchase on Steam. Uh, I believe it is not currently available yet on uh, mobile devices. However, we have entered early access. As you can see, there have been quite a lot of updates, a lot of visual updates for sure. Uh, the game definitely looks a lot more polished now than it than it did in the uh, in the in the pre pre beta state. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing a little bit of one v one against Kenny, and I'm going to be playing a little bit of campaign to show you guys the single player. But I also wanted to mention that Legion is going to be hosting a Micro Wars tournament on the 21st of September. So that is going to be, well, I'm recording this on Friday the 13th. So it will be in eight days from when I'm recording this. That's going to be 8 p.m. CST, which is 11 a.m. PST. That is going to be hosted on my channel, uh, twitch.tv forward slash 13 laid. Um, this is going to be, obviously anyone, anyone can sign up. We are going to have a prize pool. I believe the current prize pool is $100. And the first 16 players to sign up who don't own the game will receive a key so that they can play in this tournament. So you're going to kind of get a free copy of the game as well if you play Micro Wars for the tournament. Uh, we are going to, I believe if you sign up and get a key and don't play the tournament, your key will be revoked. So <laughs> it is a prerequisite of the, uh, of the tournament that you do in fact play it if you want to get a key. All right, so today I'm just going to play a little bit of 1v1 against Kenny and I'm going to play a little bit of campaign to show you guys those things now that it's not 1.0. It is still it is still uh, early access, but it is a lot closer to being ready to go. So here you can see we have Battlefield. <laughs> I'm going to 1v1 Kenny on Battlefield. Um... Is this based on the Rivals map, Kenny, or is this just also called Battlefield? I have no idea. Okay, no idea. So this isn't like this isn't like a custom map you built. This is a regular map. Yeah, regular map. Okay, so I'm going to be playing a deck that has had loaded out. It is an Elias deck. So I have Emergency Repairs, which is basically Liang drone, I think. Except uh, as I remember, there's no drone. It's just uh, it's just like an iron cannon repair. And I have cheaper unit unlock cost and time. And my deck is going to be Rocketeer Troopers, which I think are jump jets. Goliath, which is like this tech infantry thing. I've got Bikes and Buggy. These things are basically Bike and Buggy. I don't know what Hellbender tank is. A lot of the units have had their names changed. So I'm not entirely sure what a lot of them are anymore. This is... I think this is Chuggy. It says anti-infantry. It fires while moving. So I believe that one is Chemical Buggy. I've got tanks, which are, as you expect, those normal tanks. I've got Loris Launcher. What is Loris Launcher now? This looks like it might be MLRS. And then I've got cruise missiles, which are now called Stratus missiles. These things were busted last time I played. I don't know if these have been nerfed. And Sprite Gunship. I don't know what this is either. This looks like an anti-air, anti-infantry air unit. Maybe this is like Drone Swarm. I haven't got a lot that shoots up, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, anyway. The, um, is that the default deck? I, I think it is just a default deck, yeah. So I'm just going to play whatever whatever was available. It's a bit All weird right. that you see the opponent's deck in the lobby. Yeah, there is a setting. There's a show army setting that you can turn off. Oh. But I do. I have, I have said to, to Goto that he should make it so the default is hidden. Now, I haven't played this in a, in a, in a little while, so I can't remember exactly how you play. Oh, everything's different now. All the buildings are on the bottom now. That's exciting. Yeah, it does look different. It's very different. Cell building, attack mover units. We've got chat messages. Kenny, you suck. Haha, <laughs> got him. There's a bank over here. Radar tower. If I remember correctly, the radar tower lets you see better. And the bank yeah. is just money. Yeah, that would make right. sense. I don't want to necessarily tell Kenny everything I'm doing, but I guess I, for commentary purposes, I will do so. We also, the resources are now limited. Uh, we did notice during playtesting that some games ended up as a massive stalemate. 
we pointed this out and it has now been fixed so that uh resources are now not infinite anymore they are they are very limited uh well not very limited but like you will run out of, of resources on the battlefield eventually all right so i'm gonna get a second refinery i'm gonna get more harvesters and then we're gonna get a couple of units to actually go and scout and control some of these uh control some of these points I need to get a barracks as well. I'm a little Inland bit broke fighting. right now. Should probably be going for the bank first. But I've not done that. I've instead gone to this radar station. Let's get this bill. Oh, there's one of Kenny's units. He's going for his bank. Alright, so we got the radar station. I don't remember what this does. I feel like it might actually be... Um, I feel like it might actually be the bonus damage building. But I'm not certain. Oh, you have a large base. Kenny also has a jackal cycle. I believe jackal Loud cycle is a buggy, basically. Your base yeah. is under attack. Unit ready. I'm here, Commander. Roger. What is a ratter trooper? Is that a uh, just rifleman? Is that a rifleman? Awaiting directive. I'll take care of it. I'm gonna I run away not... from his attack bikes. I have not built my base in an optimal way. <laughs> Unit ready. Excellent. You need more energy. State your bidding. And I'm so broke. Are you broke? Uh, kind of. Insufficient energy. I'm super broke. I don't remember how many harvesters. I think you meant to have like two Talk harvesters moving. per per uh, refinery and two refineries per. I thought you had more. I think, it's, like I think it's I think it's two refineries start. per Yes, two two refineries that's for sure and about the harvester. Uh, where's the repair button? Where is the repair button? If you click on a building. Oh yeah, here we go. There. Unit All right, cool. Certainly. Yeah. complete. My bike's dead? No, they're sitting on the Tiberium for some reason. At the ready. You need more energy. Okay. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Absolutely. This is harder than I remember. <laughs> I don't know what anything does anymore. Insufficient energy. I'm so broke as well. Your base is under attack. Unit ready. Structure complete. Certainly. This is not Talk looking great. Me. Oh, I've got some tanks now. Tanks seem like they're going to do a good job. State your bidding. Yo, you need me. Certainly. I think I've made the critical mistake of energy. going for the harvester too much. Understood. Yeah, <laughs> classic rifles play. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Oh no, you have jump jet troopers now. More energy you I like it. Man, those I'm jump jets are absolutely slapping my tank. I guess that is the same as rivals, eh? Under I don't seem to have very much um, anti-infantry in my deck. I like it. Your will. I'm ready. going, I'm going. Unit I kind of wish I had a rifleman now. Take your bidding. Rifleman OP. No problem. What's rifleman the ROP. I'm going. Uh, I think I need to make this thing. No, that's not good. I need to make the chuggy. That's what I need. Your base is under attack. Awaiting orders. And those jump jets are absolutely ruining me. I have like no, no outs to your jump orders. jet troopers. It will be done. I'm going. I feel like maybe the uh, default deck is not yes, very well designed. I mean, um, the chuggy service. should kill them, right? The chuggy, Might yeah. But I have to tech the, I have to tech into the chuggy oh, before I can it's make a it. Tech unit. I yeah. see. What do you need? Hit me. Whatever you say. Understood. Okay. Your base is under attack. Thinking I actually think I'm like you... blocked off from getting to your. Thinking of how you build your base seems important. Yeah, like the base building actually matters, it seems. Yeah, it's almost like Age of Empires, where you build your base yeah. like in a wall. Yeah, you can actually wall people out with your base building. Alright, I think I've finally managed to kill the jump jet troopers. Oh, those are, that's, that's the wrong matchup. Structure complete. I'm here, Commander. As you say, man. No, it'll be done. Uh, what is this thing? Let's build one of these. I need more like war factories. Like my war factory building is so slow. If you have more buildings of the same 
If I have like more war factories, does it build quicker? I think it does, right? Yep, yep, it's like the okay. original CNC. Sure. Should probably do that then. Unit ready. At your All right, here we go. This thing should this thing should slap Kenny super hard. Something on your mind? Reporting. Your base Get him! Yeah, look attack. at that. <laughs> it's like a flamethrower tank. What's the plan? Ready for action. Yeah, this is basically chuggy, I think. Oh, it's absolutely ruining you. Unit ready. What a savaging. Lay it on me. Stage oh my god, that thing obliterates. I'm here, Commander. Oh, Yo, this unit, this unit is great. It shall be done. Yes. What's the plan? Confirmed. Affirmative. Oh yeah, I got MLRS as well. MLRS as Chuggy, a classic combo. Will do. <laughs> well. Very well. All right, I think this is this is pretty good. Let's set, let's set this up. It's surprisingly tanky. You would think that like a mobile unit would be fragile. What the Chuggy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know to be honest. I mean, like it is, a, it is a tech unit though in this game. Got it, Commander. Sure thing. These MLRSs are bonkers. I, will I wish you could like tell which building produces the unit, because I think... keep making. Yeah, I think there is a way, but I can't remember what it is. It's like the furthest forward one or something, like the closest to the rally point, I think. But then I think you can get a rally point. Maybe there's a way to set it. Oh, is that a, is that what I think it is? Is that a uh, inferno? Yeah, I think it's oh. been nerfed since he last played. Not that amazing. It'll absolutely ruin my MLRS. Okay, it might be good against MLRS. Oh, I forgot to build an air tower. Let's get one of those. <laughs> like how our bases are basically next to each other. <laughs> like I've crept up to you <laughs> with my base. Yeah. Lay it on me. Yes, Commander. Ready, Commander. The Goliath is kind of OP. Oh, yeah, the glass is insane the for sure. In fact, can I emergency repairs my Goliath? Come get some. I can. That's can outrageous. I'm here. Yeah. Ready. It's just over, man. You can never beat the Goliath. You are yeah, let's go, <laughs> Kenny down. <laughs> that was hard, man. That was so confusing. <laughs> I don't know what any of the units do anymore. I can't remember. So yeah, like you can see, I basically collected more resources than Kenny, and that is usually how you win in an RTS. Yeah, my refinery was a bit delayed. Yeah. Right. Um, I think I'm gonna show off the campaign a little. Okay. So I think I will. Uh, I will play the first mission on brutal difficulty so that people can see what the what the the single player campaign looks like. All right. So here we have the first mission of the campaign. Voltaire is, I assume, our commander, or I don't know. Welcome to the front, Commander. We've received reports of some unsavory characters terrorizing the local population and are stepping up our patrols here in Tanopa. Excuse me. To demonstrate the might of the Union. That's where you come in, Elias. My first patrol, and with the venerable General Voltaire. I'm terribly excited, and can I just say it's an honor to meet you. I've heard all of the stories. May I get your autograph? There's no time for that. This is war. I need you to take command. I've assigned you a pair of ratters, great scout units that can hold their own against enemy infantry. Report back with any findings. All right, here we go. So we've got our two ratters. We're off to scout with our ratters. We have emergency repairs as our ability because we are the same guy that I played in the first PvP game. By golly, it's an enemy ratter. I need to warn Voltaire. This morning just got more interesting, Elias. Use your ratters in tandem to overcome his defensive advantage and take them out. Then continue along the road. Be sure to look out for further enemies. All right, well, so I know that the forest also gives me a defensive bonus. What's the plan? So I'm going to move in 2v1 and use the forest as well. Well, having said that, I don't see any stars. Maybe they... I'm sure the forest is supposed to give a defensive Talk bonus. Anyway, ratter down. Can do. Yes, Commander. I like it. Now we're going to move in against this guy as well. <laughs> Very well. Awaiting directive. I'm going. As you can see, there is still defender's advantage. Which we must overcome by using 2v1. Don't you think that I should be commanded or something, sir? There you go. The two it is, was uh, we've I'll killed two rifles with two What's rifles by by utilizing 2v1. A tiger tank. Whoever's behind this has some serious resources. Your ratters aren't equipped to take down armored targets. You can see whether any selected unit is good against infantry vehicles and/or air in the top right window. I can. 
Green means the unit has a counter against that unit type. Yellow means the unit can hold its own. And red means that barely any damage will be done. You can see that your Rattus counter of infantry, but will barely scratch the paint of that tiger there. I'm sending you a squad of Stinger troops to help out. Great against vehicles, buildings, and aircraft, but severely lacking in the anti-infantry department. Take down that tiger. Go ahead. Where is it? Oh yeah, here we go, up here. It's not in the top right though, it's in the, the, it's in the top middle. Mm -hmm. So here comes the Riptide Transport and carrying yourself. Stinger Troopers. I'm here to His rifles are getting clapped by the tank. Mm -hmm. So Stingers are basically just rocket troops, like missiles. Sure so they should beat the tank fairly handily. Elias, your commander ability, Emergency Repairs is ready. You can click on the commander icon in the bottom or on your own portrait in the left to repair units in an area. Use it to keep your units in fighting shape. As you say. Alright, I guess we should uh, move over and heal both. Probably should not have lost my <laughs> my last man. Because uh, we could have probably healed him up. I don't know if you can replenish models. Yes, you can. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so I definitely should have kept my other squad. I'm here, Commander. Yeah, big, uh, big misplay there. Hey, All right, let's uh, let's see what's up next. Me, then I'll just be in the lounge reading a book. Ha! You've fallen into my trap just as I planned. Troops from the shadows, show yourselves and attack. Hey, who are you? Come back here. You're under arrest. Let the pain and suffering. There's an enemy I commander ability, which is the oh shit! Oh my god. Okay, I really did fall into his trap. I got absolutely ruined. So my rifles are dead. We're gonna run the rocket troops away. So obviously I can't beat three defensive rocket Indeed. troops and okay. Yes, there's a million enemy units So I think you're supposed Absolutely. to it, it is a scripted no scripted lose all your stuff here All right, there we go our scouts There wasn't anything you could have done there, but we can't let him get away Elias I've established a forward operating base for you to catch this scoundrel show him the full force of the Union's war machine Your headquarters is the most important building if it is destroyed then you'll be defeated Regardless of how many other forces you have built up Always make sure to keep it well protected against enemy raiding parties. The barracks creates infantry units. You can now build Ratter and Stinger troops. Construct an army. Building more barracks makes infantry build faster and increases your energy capacity, allowing you to field more units. You can issue, issue move orders to the barracks and set a rally point as well. Similarly, the factory builds vehicle units such as the Jackal Cycle and Tiger Tank. There is a single build queue for infantry and another for vehicles. Units will automatically be built out of the closest barracks slash factory to the specified building's shared rally point. And finally, the refinery serves as a drop-off point for your Protura harvesters. Protura, not Tiberium. Definitely not Tiberium. To collect more resources to turn into more units in order to overwhelm the enemy. Make sure to protect your refineries and harvesters from enemy attack. Don't you worry about a thing, Voltaire. I've got this. Alright, so here's my forward base. I'm getting given a refinery, a factory, and a barracks, and a harvester. What else am I going to get? I guess I should be building something. I should probably be building another refinery. I'm I also get a stinger troop and a ratter troop. Uh, Alright, cool. Oblige. I need to go and destroy the enemy HQ. So we'll hang out in these trees for now. Build a second refinery. We actually have two harvesters already. We'll build a third harvester. This will give us four harvesters when the refinery is finished, which I think is the... Structure complete. The, the, that is saturated now. I believe it is four harvesters, two refineries per patch. This white bar, I'm assuming, is how many crystals are left? Uh, when the crystals run out, it seems like... You, um... You just, re you just get less income. Like, it's, it, like, I think it regrows, but very slowly. So we see here this guy is a idling. I think the amount of time it takes to drop off resources means that four is saturation. Yeah, because like this guy moves off, this guy moves on. It should be sat. I mean, it should be how yes, that works. Commander. I don't know if this guy is like currently just Unit idling ready. and waiting. Unit it looks like he was idling and waiting. I wonder if this is too many. In fact, State all right. Anyway, um, let's get a bunch energy. more riflemen because the opponent you has a bunch it. of riflemen. At your service. We've got right buggies on. versus buggies. It's not great. We'll get a tank as well. I should probably be shooting the rifleman because that's actually intended target. You need me? I'll take care of it. I was say I do sure think thing. the construction times are maybe a little low in this game. Unit ready. What's the like, plan? there's a lot of a lot of waiting for units as to be say. built. Absolutely. As you wish. Like rivals, rivals has like reverse construction. 
Make sure you keep on track of your energy usage and capacity. It's shown in the top right next to your resource count. When you exceed your energy capacity, all energy is diverted away from constructing new units and directed to your existing units, causing production to slow down to a crawl. Make sure when you get near to maxing out your energy capacity to build more unit producing buildings, such as barracks and factories, to increase the limit. Each barracks slash factory can support up to two additional units. Yeah, so here is I'm at nine out of eight, which means that my okay. units are. Well, that's why my units are building so slowly. It's because I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough pop cap. Okay, fair enough. That one might be on me then. Let's see. Yeah, it definitely builds quicker at eight out of eight. So if we watch, if you watch this slow down. Well, no, hang on. It includes units that are in production. Then it does include units in production. Interesting. Not a rocket trooper. Ready. That is a lot of enemy units. Be done. Unit ready. No, it'll be done. Engage it. Understood. Yeah, it does build a lot quicker. It builds a lot quicker when you have uh, when you have energy mm -hmm. to spare. So okay, that was that was on me. The units were building slowly because I didn't have enough. Uh, I didn't have enough production capacity. This is a, this is the anti-infantry one. I don't want to send that at the tank. I want to send my tank at his tank. Ready. There's also the repair function over here. If you start repairing a refinery, it'll also repair the harvesters. I'm going. Ready, Commander. Structure complete. Certainly. All right, we're starting to take control of the map now. I like it. Will do. Gladly. Yo, you got it. As you wish. Weren't you Unit walking ready. your dog? Unit Talk to ready. Me. Right away. I actually have to say, I've played the campaign a little bit before, as you saw when I go on the on the mm -hmm. campaign screen. You'll see there's like actually several uh, several missions ahead that I've done. Okay. I gotta say the campaign is not easy. Like I've been playing on brutal, which is the highest difficulty, but the mission I got up to, I've tried it like four or five times and have not been able to complete it yet. It is seriously difficult. So yeah, the uh, the campaign is is not a is not a walk in the park at all. It is definitely like a real a real challenge. Let's bring this over. We're gonna harass his harvesters. I think the AI does not cheat and get free resources. I believe they get free troops occasionally, but I don't think they actually just get straight up free resources. So killing the enemies, AI, killing their, their killing their income is irrelevant is a relevant thing. Set our rally points further forwards. Hit me. Yes, Commander. Something on your mind? Anything you want. Copy that. All right, we've run out of anti-infantry. Yeah. This thing just won't die. There we go. Roger. I'm trying to micro here to block out. Don't worry yeah, about look at that. Not. It's working. I blocked out the enemy rocket ready. troops from As moving forwards in a classic ready. rivals rivals micro trick. They're just going back and forth so they can't Shall get through. We'll do. Ready. Love to see it, chat. Lead, man. All right, let's move everything Additional forwards. Let's try and get his HQ. Is this HQ? That's a factory. Oh, he's getting reinforcements. He's getting reinforcements to help defend. So this, I think, is how the enemy cheats. <laughs> I think the enemy does get random extra units occasionally. Well, not random. It's like, I think it's uh, it's scripted. But I don't think they will... Uh, I think their, their unit production is, is based on their actual income. So I'm going to need some more anti-imp again. Hey, I'm going. It shall be. Hey, I'm here. Alright, we've killed ready. most of their harvesters now. Awaiting orders. Can do. Don't worry about it. I'm on it. Affirmative. Okay. Yes, Commander. Or minerals. Hey, you want something needed. from me? Go get the factory as well. What's going on? Affirmative. Actually, getting overrun a little bit here. Unit ready. You Some more rifles. Something? Hey, you want something from me? Loud and clear. Unit ready. Yes. Lay it on me. Lead me. Copy that. I don't really want to use my trikes to fight his uh, his, his rocket troops. Go ahead. Since that's only a soft counter. I'm gonna start driving around his um, his HQ. I'm actually gonna try and get my repair beam going here. No problem. I'm going. Commander, you got it. Affirmative. Awaiting directive. Go ahead. State your bidding. Go, let's go. Lay it on me. It's forward so we can repair beam the whole lot. I'm on it. Commander. Repair right beam is actually, I think, pretty OP. You can like push someone's uh, HQ is with jump jet troopers, and then when they try and kill them, you just repair beam them. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. All right, we're just gonna focus down the HQ here. Unit ready. 
Although it is repairing yes. pretty quickly. Loud and clear. The AI is focusing on rebuilding its economy. You can see how it's just like all it's built is extra harvesters. Because it. as I said, I don't think the AI like it doesn't just like randomly get bonus resources. So it is it is focusing on uh, on rebuilding its economy. As you say. I only have one anti-building unit here. That's why it's taking so long to destroy the HQ. But we are obviously going to get him at this point. The beefy HQ, eh? Go ahead. I'm on it. Affirmative. Hey, if you don't have a command to give me, then I'll just be in the lounge reading a book. All right. Very well. GG AI. Gah, even if you defeated me this time, you can never banish the shadows. Retreat. We'll meet again, young commander. You can't just run away. Hey, get back here. Oh, it was all going so well. After him. Great dialogue. Love the dialogue. Would it be better to have someone else playing and you talking about the game? Yeah, maybe, but I don't know if I have anyone else to play right now. Has anyone else here got micro walls? Hey. All right, so we're going to have a game between Kenny and Pontiki, uh, which I will just spectate so that I can, you know, talk about what's actually happening in the game rather than trying to play the game uh, myself. <laughs> okay, so we've got Kenny playing Abram again, which is the, the guy who has the McNeil trap type effect. And Pontiki is Elias, which I believe is the uh, the the, the resurrect uh, the heal beam. This map has a lot of buildings on it. We've got a comms tower, a radar tower, and a bank all together. But like, there's forests blocking between them, so it'll take a long time to travel around to them. We've got the same on the other side, and then we've got a bank in the corner as well. So this is a lot of different buildings to capture. We're looking at eight different buildings. That is a crazy uh, crazy number of buildings. Both players have opted for refinery opening, which is pretty normal. Kenny's gone for barracks, whilst Pontiki's gone for factory. I personally prefer the factory opening, because it lets you build uh, build more harvesters. Pontiki going second refinery. Kenny's gone for rifles into rockets, whilst Pontiki's building hellbender. He's unlocking hellbender. I believe that's the chem buggy. So he's chosen to unlock, as his first action, he has chosen to unlock the ability to build uh, chuggies rather than getting his own unit. And then he's gone for a bully cycle, which I believe is attack bike. Uh, Kenny's now following up with his second refinery and a jump jet trooper. So this bully cycle from Pontiki is going to be super awkward because it has no targets. Kenny is all in on uh, all, all in on infantry at the moment. But yes, so many buildings to capture. Kenny's gone and captured his bank. Pontiki's captured comms tower. I can't, I'm pretty sure comms tower is bonus damage. I'm pretty sure Radar Tower is Vision, but I can never remember. So we've got Comms Tower and Bank for Kenny. Kenny's now also getting up his factory. And we're taking the Radar... Yeah, look at this. I think that's Vision, because look how much look how much Fog of War has disappeared. So the Radar Towers must be Vision. So Kenny can basically see the whole map because of his Radar Towers. Pontiki is way behind in capturing buildings, but he does have the Hellbender tank, which is extremely good. Because it is going to hard counter basically all the infantry that Kenny has. You see there, look how much it wrecked that jump jet trooper. It's like 80% health still, maybe even more, maybe like 90% health. So Kenny's gone for factory and bully cycle to counter. And you see here, <laughs> absolutely devastating the infantry as Kenny tries to chase it down with the cycles. Gets a little bit of chip damage in, does take out one model, a little bit more. Pontiki brings in his cycles to fight back. Actually, these uh, these Hellbenders getting destroyed by these Jump Jet Troopers. I guess the, the loss of the models really swung that match up a lot because as a, as a two or three man squad, it got completely obliterated. So we've got Jump Jets and Bikes from Kenny. Pontiki has not built a new building. I guess he's just, he's just, he got 160 floating. Absolutely, uh, absolutely puns in this one. He needs to be, he needs to be building more stuff. You see Kenny has built way more buildings. He's got two factories already. Building his third factory. He's got uh, one barracks. He's got two refineries. Kenny is behind on harvesters, though. He has two refineries, two harvesters. Pontiki has three harvesters for his one refi of his two refineries. Pontiki's finally realized he's going to need a barracks. The Hellbender tanks are doing quite a lot of work, but Kenny is miles ahead in map control. Econ, it's hard to say. I don't know how much money a bank gives you, but Kenny has a bank and Pontiki doesn't. Uh, now Pontiki does have a bank. In fact, is it two banks? It's two banks to one now. 
Kenny's going for the third bank. I don't know how a bank compares to a harvester. Apparently a bank is equal to a harvester, according to Gozo, who is the, the, the lead developer for this game. And by lead developer, I believe I mean only developer. Um, so yeah, each bank is equivalent to one harvester. So Pontiki's now at four half, Kenny's at three, but Kenny has two additional banks. So Kenny's economy is much stronger. We see a tech lab from Kenny now. Pontiki's unlocking flame troops, which doesn't really seem necessary when he already has the hellbender tanks. Well, I guess he's just getting run over so hard by these jump jets. He feels like he needs a, an infantry versus infantry option. Basically just seeing attack bikes spam from both players. Kenny is absolutely dominating at the moment. He has all the neutral buildings. It's going to be very difficult for Pontiki to come back from this. Here's the commander power as well. Absolutely brutal here. Just shuts down all of Pontiki's units. Kenny making a push for the harvesters. This is going to, this is looking really bad for Pontiki. He's getting completely run over. There's a Loris launcher, which is basically an MLRS. Once this gets set up, I don't see how Pontiki comes back. All this has really come down to, though, Pontiki's have been floating a lot of, uh, well, not Tiberium, a lot of resources this game. So his field advantage has just been much lower than Kenny's, who has been sitting on sort of 50 to 20, like 20 to 50 resources most of the game. He's been making good use of it. Kenny does not want to move his MLRS up, though, being very cautious with it. Here it goes. He is moving it up now, setting up to kill up these attack trikes. Yeah, absolutely brutal against them. These things are a tech MLRS, so they are extremely strong. Kenny doing his best to protect them here, trying very hard as he moves to the Hailstorm Bomber, which is Inferno equivalent. Pontiki has his own Rocketeer troops, very late to the party, these Rocketeers. He's also now at five Harvester, which is one Harvester too many. He has managed to decap a bunch of buildings, but he himself does not really, he's not retaken them. Kenny trying his best to keep his Loris Launcher alive as Hailstorm Bomber comes in to protect it. This thing should one-shot the Rocketeers. They're running for it. Are they going to make it? Oh, he's put them on top of the Health Loris Launcher. A classic rivals move there. Putting his jump jets on top of the enemy unit so the Hailstorm Bomber hits both. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic, fantastic play there from, uh, from Pontiki. Unfortunately, he's just so far behind in the economy and the... And building buildings, like, he just, he has so few buildings compared to Kenny. That even though he's made a very nice play there with that little micro trick, it's just not going to be enough here. Kenny is, Kenny is very far ahead. Kenny's really just trying to put the nail in the coffin here. You can see both Tiberium patches. Pontiki's Tiberium patch is actually out now. Sorry, not Tiberium, Protura. His patch is completely empty, whereas Kenny still has about a quarter of his. So, yeah, it's going to go from bad to worse for Pontiki here as he runs out of money. Kenny really just looking to put the death blow on him. As the MLRS sets up on the Harvesters. Not going to take too long to clear those out. And I think Pontiki probably dead here. Just, just going through the motions trying to, trying to save himself. But it isn't looking too hot. Second MLRS from Pontiki, sorry, from Kenny coming out. We've got Jump Jet and another Inferno and a Drone Swarm. Two Drone Swarms, in fact. Pontiki absolutely on the ropes, desperately making attack cycles and Jump Jet Troopers to try and get himself back into this game. Kenny, uh, Kenny pushing with the uh, the Inferno. Looks like he's going to push for the, for the HQ kill now as the Inferno Bomber and the MLRS moves towards. There's the uh, commander power to shut down those bikes. MLRS starts working on that HQ... Gets it down to about half, but he doesn't manage to finish it off. And the jump jet troopers from Pontiki do save him. Kenny now floating, uh, still, still that much. Pontiki basically out of resources at this point. Really just uh, desperately holding off. He's managed to get his air tower and he's building a cyclone fighter. This is an air superiority unit, I believe. I think it is sort of like a, a hammerhead. So this is going to be able to take out the, uh, the hailstorm bomber. Yeah, there it goes. And it's going to start cleaning up these Sprite gunships. This is a big deal for Pontiki. This unit is really getting him back into it because Kenny had air, air superiority here. However, he's so low on money. He's desperately trying to make good trades. He is getting a lot of value out of his units. This Cyclone Fighter and each Rocketeer troop has been doing a ton of work. Kenny now looking like he's really struggling to find an answer to the Cyclone Fighter. This might turn the game around here. If Pontiki can capture some banks as well... He might be able to get back into this, although now the bikes are coming in to clean up the Cyclone Fighter. Cyclone Fighter forced to retreat to the back of the map. 
Inferno Bomber, sorry, Hailstorm Bomber comes in, takes care of those rocket troops, not quite killing them, but put them very low. As we see a Tempest Warbird from Kenny, which I believe is a Banshee equivalent. So it will lose to the Cyclone Fighter, but it is capable of fighting back at least a little bit. Yeah, it's not, it's actually not that close. I don't know why Quantiki retreated there. He had that matchup. Oh, he's going to get defender's advantage? Easy. Uh, he retreats and takes advantage of the defender. Here comes the Hail Hailstorm goes down. Bunch of riflemen here from Kenny. But he just can't close out this game. Pontiki holding on for dear life. Somehow managing to hold him off with the defender's advantage. Pontiki is just lining up his units so much better against Kenny's. Kenny is making a lot of generic units and trying to win with the Hailstorm Bombers. Whereas Pontiki is making specialists and absolutely shutting down Kenny's aggression each time. Ponti can we see a turnaround from Pontiki here? Kenny is now also out of Tiberium, or sorry, Pro Protura, which means that the banks are now the primary sources of income in the game. That means these bank controllers are extremely important. But Pontiki, this Cyclone fight is almost done now. It's very, very low. He's had it for a long time. It's done a lot of work. Oh, doesn't quite manage to get it out of the way there. Trying to take advantage of the defender's advantage there, but does finally go down. And here we see a Hellstone Bomber from Pontiki. Didn't know he had enough money to make one of these. This is, uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. It feels like too little too late. But having said that, I've, seen, I've been saying for a while now that Kenny is, is dominating, but he actually just can't quite find, can't quite find a way to close it out. As his units just aren't, he just isn't lining them up as well as Pontiki is. And Pontiki actually making a push now towards Kenny's base. With his full army, we've got two bully cycles, a hailstorm bomber, and a hellbender tank. There's the commander power from Kenny. Doesn't do too much, though. Actually, it does. It shuts down the hellbender tank. And now the bomber coming in, taking forever to shoot underneath this uh, disruption field, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm not sure what the commander power is called. Kenny, very nice use of the commander power there. Shuts down all of Pontiki's army. Suddenly, Pontiki is looking in danger again. As in come the Tempest Warbirds, trying to shut down that Hailstorm Bomber. He's actually going after a factory here. Almost takes care of that factory. I'm not sure how relevant the factory is going to be at this point. HQ is very low for Pontiki. He has not remembered to repair it. In fact, I don't think he's remembered to repair anything because nothing looks like it's been getting healed. Man, Kenny just desperately trying to find a way to close this game out. In come two more Tempest Warbirds and a Sprite Gunship. But Kenny's so broke. Both players so broke here. We might see Kenny go for an all-in with the Commander Power. Put both his Tempest Warbirds and shut down this Cyclone Fighter with the Commander Power. Are we going to see that? No, the Cyclone Fighter is doing work. It's clearing up all the air. This might stop Kenny from winning the game. Oh, I just saw Kenny's Commander Power is on cooldown. That's probably why he didn't go for it. Headquarters once again protected by Pontiki. Cyclone Fighter, MVP, Inferno not doing a great job here, getting shut down by attack bikes. Yeah, that did not have a very good time. These attack bikes cleaned it up pretty smoothly. It is still technically alive. Pontiki tries to block with the Cyclone Fighter, but takes a ton of damage doing it. In come some more bikes. We've got a Tempest Warbird from Pontiki as well. As Pontiki goes to rebuild his factory, could this be the final hurrah for Pontiki as he is almost out of money has no factory. Oh, he does actually have a factory building a second factory here come the bikes from kenny trying desperately to finish off this hq which is very close to that. i think this is going to be another attack cycle volley is going to shut this down oh one more hq is so low <laughs> can't quite see its hit points there it is oh, he, he re redirects his attack by accident doesn't quite finish the hq HQ on one hit point, and Pontiki saves, but new bikes come in. Can they do it? No! It's still just about alive, and Pontiki saves himself barely here. <laughs> As Kenny, <laughs> desperate to shut this game down, comes in with two more attack bikes. Pontiki is not willing to give this one up. He's recapping the bank on the right. Actually down to... In fact, I think Kenny does not have this bank on the left. Pontiki suddenly with an economy advantage for the first time in the game. Kenny actually looking like he's in trouble here. Can he sneak something over to the HQ? He only needs to hit it once. 
but he can't seem to get his bikes over there. We see a Tempest Warbird trying to sneak around the corner of the map. Bully Cycle coming in, but Pontiki with the blocks. He's got building blocks as well. <laughs> Man, Kenny can just not end this game as Pontiki brings it back. Actually looking like he has a commanding lead now. Pontiki might take this game from here. We see rocket troops coming out from Kenny, but he doesn't send them to the HQ. Very interesting. There really isn't a lot of anti-imp. I feel like maybe this jump jet was the one. This could maybe have got to the HQ. We see him trying to take care of the bully cycles to protect his barracks. Both players extremely low on resources here. Another rocket troop from Kenny going straight to the HQ. Rocket troop at the bottom falls to the flame troops. But I think this one at the top might be able to take care of business. Is he finally going to get there? Finally going to do the one damage Mission needed. Complete. There it is. Kenny <laughs> takes it down. Uh, finally destroys Pontiki in a grueling battle. All right, there you go. Kenny collected about 500 more resources, but just got much... Look at this total damage. Pontiki just got much better trades across the game. That's why it took Kenny so long to close it out. All right, well, there you go, guys. Some PvP Micro Wars, a little bit of campaign. Once again, a plug for the tournament that will be happening next weekend, Saturday the 21st. You can get a free key for Micro Wars if you sign up and attend the tournament. So it is a good deal. You get a free game, even if you, like, doesn't matter how you do, as long as you show up and play the tournament, you get a free game. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you all there.